All right, guys, if you remember when we were working on the, getting the smoke fixed, the end of the firebox that connects up to the first smoking chamber is actually the end piece is rusted out. So what we've done is we've got some steel, I had it, I bought it, and I've got it cut in a 16 inch square. The actual pipe on the inside diameter is 13 and a half. So what we've done is we've come in here and marked this, squared it up, did it on the 15 and a half inch side, and you can see we're on the end up needing to cut this half moon piece out. So what we have laying down on the ground, we've got a fire grate to keep it up off the ground because what will happen if you blow that hot metal down, it'll pop your concrete. And I've got another piece of steel that we're going to use later inside the firebox to make a heat management plate out of. Got it down on the bottom just to protect the concrete. So what we're going to do right now guys is we're going to go ahead and cut that out with a cutting torch. So uh, one thing you want to do Make sure you wear your make sure you wear your safety glasses and that kind of stuff and and I'll uh, I'll throw up some pictures of this stuff up in the tighter deal so you guys can see it as well and kind of get a better idea of what we're doing. And again, guys, this is just a close up of the actual what we're going to be cutting out. This metal right here, in case you can't tell in the video, that's actually on the bottom. And that's going to catch any of the slag or whatever that melts off as we're cutting that out. Again guys, it's been a little while since I've cut with a cutting torch, so that ain't as pretty as I've done in the past, but it's it's not bad. So we'll go with that. Alright guys, and then a word of caution, obviously you see me well for cutting that. You want to have your safety glasses on, you want to make sure you got something to keep the concrete from popping back up or being a good safe environment and everything's been swept up prior to doing this video, but uh, there's our little moon piece for the end, so we'll go out and see if it fits. All right, guys, so this right here is going to be the first piece that we cut, and it's that half moon. And we'll weld this in here. <coughs> we'll weld this up and get that sealed back up tight like it should be. I'll kind of zoom in for you so you can see. Yeah, how about we zoom in instead? And then you can see that's nice moon-shaped piece. And, and again, this is... An original smoker, it's over 30 years old, and this is made out of 3 16th inch steel. This outside stuff, it's been neglected. Your steel shouldn't, even though it's 3 16th, shouldn't actually rust through like that. But like I say, it's been left out in the pasture for probably 15 or 20 years before I went and picked it up. But we'll get this rod straightened out and uh, for the firebox, but we're going to get this welded in first. And again, guys, it's, uh, this is for the end of the vertical smoker. It needs the entire bottom replaced. And that is a 15 and uh, about three quarter inside diameter. And luckily for me, my little trash can that I got on here is exactly that same size. So if you can see this yellow mark, we're, we're going to actually cut to the inside. And I'll zoom in a little bit. I can't zoom in any more than I am. But, uh, <clears throat> Anyhow, that's got it laid out. Again, we're going to be doing the same thing. We've got a uh, cutting torch set up. Make sure you got your safety glasses on. And let's go do some cutting. And there it is, cut at 15 and a half inches, which is the inside diameter of the pipe. So we'll run it out there and see if that fits. And then if it does, we'll redo the cameras and get ready for the next part, which will be welding. vertical side of the smoker and that last disc that we cut is this is covering up that entire bottom 
there was a few pieces that were rusted here and there and we've gone ahead and cut that out to clean it up but that's with the new piece in there before we weld it i'll change the camera around a little bit and give you a little bit better angle so you can see what we're doing in there but uh that's it and let's move the camera real quick. Well again guys, as you can see, we're getting this welded up. It didn't take quite a bit longer than I thought it would, simply because I'm not used to using the flux core wire. Uh, it was a little too windy to hook up the gas, so we had to use flux core, but that's just what you do. Sometimes you got to deal, uh, deal with it and keep on rolling, but we did have a good day. If you like our video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and again, uh, if you haven't already, I'd like to talk you into subscribing next week we're going to be doing the initial burn in so we're going to go ahead and show you how we clean the smoker up got it all cleaned out and then do the initial burn in and season up the grates and everything else so be sure to tune in for next week's video and again i hope you all have a blessed week